This is amazing. Now we're going to see about Llama Index AI Agents. So what is AI Agent and why we need AI Agent? For example, if we take an AI chatbot, it is more about conversation interface. If it's AI Agents, that is task automation. In AI chatbot, it's like you ask a question and you'll get a response back. But using AI Agent, you can use tools to interact with environment. In regards to AI chatbot, the response is not as autonomous as an AI agent. AI chatbot has limited learning, but AI agent has advanced learning and adaptation. In regards to AI chatbot, the example could be customer service chatbot. But if it's regards to AI agent, it could be autonomous vehicles. So there you see the difference and advantages compared to AI chatbot. But what is Llama Index? It can turn your enterprise data into a production-ready LLM application. Loading the data, indexing the data, querying the data, and finally evaluating is all built in. So using all this power, we are going to add AI agent. At the end, we are going to create a user interface like this, where when you ask, what is two plus three multiplied by five? That is going to divide this into subtasks. The agents are working together at the backend to give you this answer. This is running completely locally on your computer using Olama. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Llama Index AI Agents. In this, we are going to create custom tools first. So these are basic tools such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Then we are going to assign those tools to the agent, Llama Index Agent. Then finally create a user interface. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, make sure you've downloaded Olama from olama.com. Then Olama pull Llama 3 and then click enter. Now it's downloading. It's all done now. Next, pip install Llama Index, Llama Index LMS Olama and then chain lit. Llama Index is the main package. Llama Index LMS Olama is for integrating with Olama and Chainlit is for creating user interface at the end. And then click enter. Now it got installed. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, from Llama Index, core tools, function tool, then react agent, then Olama, settings, nest async IO. Now we have imported all the required modules, initializing nest async io.apply. Now we are defining the large language model that is Olama Llama 3. Next we are setting the settings, that is settings.lm equals lm. Now initial settings or configuration is complete. So first step, creating custom tools. As a beginner's guide, we are going to focus on creating four different functions. One for adding, then subtracting, then multiplication and division. Coming to the code, creating custom tools. Here first, multiplication tool is just getting two numbers and then returning the multiplication. Just that you know, large language models are not good at multiplications or divisions. Those are good at completing a sentence, but not actual reasoning. So considering we are using Llama 3, we need to provide those agents with tools for multiplication. More advanced AI models can perform these tasks by its own, but if you're planning to run that locally on your computer, you might need to provide all these tools to those agents. Next, addition tool, adding, then subtracting tool, subtraction, then division tool. That's it. Now we have created four different functions with all the functionality. Next step is we need to define or initiate the tool by calling function tool dot from defaults. And here we are providing the function name. Similarly, we are doing for addition, subtraction and division. That's it. Creation of tools is complete. Now step number two is to create agent. Create agent. Here we are calling the react agent class. Then from tools, we are providing all the tools here then setting the large language model verbose equals true that's it now we have created agents now to initiate the chat i'm going to use agent.chat there i'm going to ask what is 121 plus 2 times 5 and finally printing the response that's it so literally we created four functions for the calculation operation then we initiated those tools using function tool then we create the agent using react agent and finally, agent.chat. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see it's using the tool, add tool. First, it's adding 121 and two, that is 123. Then it's multiplying by five. 
At this time, it's not using a tool. It says I can answer without using any more tools. Now we need to add a user interface for this. For that, we are going to use Chainlit. Chainlit is easy to build UI when you want to create a chatbot-like function. So we are going to create an interface like a chatbot, but we are going to integrate agentic function in that. So it looks like a chatbot, but behind the scenes, we are using agents. So here I've modified the code slightly. I've imported Chainlit as CL. Then I created two decorator. One is on chat start. Hello there, I am AI agent. How can I help you? Dot sent. So this is the initial message. Then on message decorator. This is called whenever we type something in the chat interface. During that time, it's calling agent.chat. Same as before, it is going to use agents and the response is being sent back to the user interface. That's it. Only this much amount of code, you are able to create a user interface. Now I'm going to run it. In your terminal, python m chainlit run ui.py. You don't need python m if chainlit is able to identify the correct environment. But in my case, it's pointing to some other environment. So if I type like this, it's giving me an error. That's why I'm typing python m chainlit run ui.py. And this will automatically open the user interface, as you can see here. Hello there, I am AI agent. How can I help you? So here I'm going to ask, what is 5 plus 3 times 2? And then click enter. Now at the back end, you can see 53 is using an add function and returning 8. Then after that, multiply tool is being used. And that 8 is multiplied with 2 to get 16. And finally, we got the answer. So even in the terminal, we can see 16 here. So simple approach to create a agent. In this example, I showed you only one AI agent, but you can even try multiple AI agents and extend this code further. I will let you do it. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.